what's happening with Lisa? Okay, so today, you know that I love the 160. I love the 160, it's in Colorado, but I think that the 160 goes from Colorado into like around Utah area, New Mexico and Arizona because the end of the 160 that I know of is right by Tuba City and that is in Arizona. So we're gonna go and start from Tuba City-ish, so right before Tuba City. We're gonna start, we're gonna show you the 160 all the way up to um, maybe, not Cortez, what's the other one? Cortez, Durango. So we'll probably go all the way up into Durango so that um, you'll be able to see what it looks like on the 160. And I have to say, that might be one of my favorite roads because there's so much activity and things to do and things to see on the 160. So when we get to the, when we get to the beginning of this, that's where we're gonna go. Now, we also know that there's little places to stop and see things, so we're probably gonna do that too. You're gonna see little flea market things and little stuff for sale and you know handmade things. So that's what's gonna happen in this exciting episode of What's Happening with Lisa. So we're about a mile away from the turnoff to the 160 so that you can see where we're headed next. But we stopped right now because there's the Navajo um, So we're about a mile away from the turnoff for 160 and I'm getting ready to stop and look at some Navajo treasures that are handmade. Dene Handcrafts is where we are. We're about again a mile away from the 160 and then we're going to head up towards Tuba City so that you can see what the layout looks here on the 160, you know my favorite road. So now I'm going to show you some handcrafted things. Hey, here we go. And Dene means the people. And it's Navajo and they are the people. So I like that. And then these little beads, they hand pick and then they trim up. And again, tell me one more time what the beads are. Cedar beads, they're the cedar beads. So I like them. And that's what's happening. So I wanted to kind of show you some handcraft items. So we're getting ready to turn to Tuba City and Cayenta, I believe is, or Cayenta, maybe is how you say that. I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say it. Anyway, so this is the starting of the 160. We are in Arizona. We are west of Tuba City. And now we are for two hours heading, and 17 minutes to US 160. as you hear, two hours and 17 minutes to 160, because we're going to be on the 160 until, I think, Durango. So that's where we're going to, we're going to show you all the way up into Durango, unless there's something interesting to see after that, which could be Chimney Rock. I don't know. We'll see. So this is what's happening. Let me show you the deserty area. And then if anything comes up, I'm gonna show you guys some things. Stay tuned. I've got some beautiful like uh, rock formations happening off to the side. I like how they are flat mesa looking type things. Let's see, we're, we're climbing up a little bit. So I wanted to kind of show you. We're still west of Tuba City. I don't really know. Oh wow, look at how pretty. And do you see the green? Let me see if I can go into the green. Nope, it's too blurry, I think. Yeah, there you go. So there's like houses over there. Again, west of the of Tuba City, headed towards uh, Durango, Colorado. We're gonna actually go to the Four Corners, which is Utah, Colorado, Arizona, and New Mexico. So we're gonna check out that and see what's going on at Four Corners on the 160. So we're approaching the dinosaur tracks. It's our next left. I don't know if we're gonna go, cause it might be a little far to get off the 160, but know that if you are the 160 on the west side of Tuba City, you can see the dinosaur tracks, which will be on the north side of the 160. Just so that you're uh, on the same page as us and where we are. 
I, I uh, have thought about doing a live uh, want version, but um, I'm a little nervous because I don't know how to do it. I don't know if you can hit pause or how all that works. Oh, and yeah. yeah, better not do it. It's better to be able to uh, hit pause. Yeah, dinosaur tracks are to the next left. You can see the little sign right there. Dinosaur tracks going that way. Oh, maybe they're just right there. Right there. Like, yeah. Should we turn around? Nah, we're not going to turn around. If y'all want to go see that, you can. But I just kind of wanted to show you the layout, how the rocks all kind of look like cow patties a little bit. And that's what I was taking from it. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of my watchers and everybody that's uh, that stay tuning and watching me. Um, we're up to 102 people now that are watching. That's exciting for me. I'm I want to thank everyone um, who has hit like, um, who has subscribed, and um, who's following what, what our travels are, what's happening with Lisa. Um, leave a comment. Tell me what you're thinking. Tell me if you like the 160. I don't know. You might not like the 160. You might have had a, a blowout or something on there and don't really appreciate it, but we're just going to kind of show you some things. Anyways, um, I hope you all are having a good day, and um, stay tuned. We're almost to Tuba City. All right, so we've made it to Tuba City. Oh, there's a McDonald's, a Sinclair's, which, you know, I, I do like Sinclair's, as you can tell by the big G, which you, if you have not seen that video, you should go check it out. There's a True Value. Let's see, what else do we have? We're looking, oh, there's a wreck or something happening up here with some police and things. All right, so we're leaving Tuba City now. We um, heard that possibly there is a fry, bed, a fry bread place on the side of the road somewhere coming up. So we're going to keep our peepers open for that. Um, oh, go Tuba City Warriors! Woohoo! Win State National Championship something something. Yay! Okay. So um, that's what's happening. So hopefully we'll get out of the little desert looking area um, and then see what else we got going on. Look at it. Oh wow, so we just happened upon these two pillar looking things that are just right here. Um, I'm gonna see if this brown sign says what they are, but I don't think that it does. It says two miles, something is in two miles. Oh, there might be, oh look at his, look at that trailer. That's cool. Rock slide. Okay. I'm going to go back this way. That's what it looks like. Well, we're going to get out for a second and take a look. Okay, so what I find very cool about this is I can walk right up to it without having to walk very far. And I get to touch the rock. That's what I want to do. I can even walk around this thing. Let's see. Wow. Let me get in the shade. Wow, that's impressive. I'm gonna call these the gateway to the 160 or, or the gateway to Four Corners maybe. I wanna come up here and touch it. I'm glad no one's graffitied it. Oh yeah, they have kind of. There, I'm touching it. Wow, that's impressive. Okay, so let's see what's on our journey next. All right, so I'm going to call that the Gateway to the Four Corners. I like that name of those uh, uh, pillars that are sitting there that are all natural. We're about two hours, so if you're looking for those pillars, they are two hours west of Four Corners because we're about two hours from Four Corners right now. It is 82 degrees outside. It's 2.30 in the afternoon so it's a warm one on this Arizona I think yep we're still in Arizona because at four corners we go through Arizona then we go through I think not Colorado New Mexico and then Colorado on the 160 and so like back to back we should see hopefully something interesting so stay tuned with that I really like the rock formations, and I'm trying to show them to you. Ooh, and a sheep. <laughs> I'm trying to show you the, oh man, I got to turn my notifications off. 
anyways um, I'm trying to show you the different um, kinds of mountainous things the rock formations and stuff but they're all on the right of me so when I do like this it just looks like you're gonna get car sick with me or something so I'm trying not to do that too much so I'm hoping that they come out a little bit better up here okay so I don't even know where we are but we're still we are now east of Tuba City and there's like this grain bin looking thing and I don't know if you can see I can't show you with my finger but there's like a long slide coming down and it goes I believe over the road so I'm gonna see if I can't let me scooch back a little bit now you really can't see it this way this far back but I'm too jiggity when um, I'm up a little closer so I want to see if we can't get the full effect of it I don't know what it is again it looks like a grain bin or like three big grain bins concrete next to each other with like a green train car on top I I don't know so let's see you can kind of see let me scooch up a little bit now you can really see it it's like a slide and then it comes it's it's far but let's see if we can see it good when we come around the corner anyways so just some happenstance as we're driving if you know what it is let me know leave a comment um, that would be interesting to to know and uh, maybe they need to turn it into some kind of amusement park something that might be fun if it's not already an amusement park something no it's not that's interesting to look at. It's really long. But, oh, you can kind of see it across the road. Let me see if I can come into focus. It's right there. Bam. Look at that. And there, there the end of it is. So I don't know if they're pushing something this way to get it up into this grain bin. Or if they're taking something out of this grain bin and they're pushing it over here to the side of this mountain or up that mountain over there something like that Oop. there you go and so that means it is going to cross the road that's interesting anyways let's see what other interesting oh it's got yeah you can see it now it's got like a covering over it the part that goes over the road the part that goes over the road it's interesting very very interesting no signs about what it is and then it goes up that hill over there huh all right leave a comment we find that there's a lot of graffiti and things but it's beautiful and the Navajo National Monument is coming up. Oh, we got a sign for four corners in 95 miles. And uh, we'll see what's going on with that. Oh, passing lane coming up in a half a mile. Anyways, so we're just right next to now the Navajo National Monument. All right, so we're coming out of the like tan color area and we're coming into what looks like some red clay looking mountainous areas we did just see some wild horses along this area um, not sure um, anything about that but that was pretty interesting um, we've seen several groups of it so I'm hoping that I'll get that in a video because um, it's usually too late because I've set my phone down for a second but uh, I just kind of wanted to show you how the colors are starting to change now that we're getting closer to Four Corners. Okay, so I really, it's beautiful. Take a look at the little canyon right in here. There's some water. I, I don't know what river it is, um, but it really is kind of a neat little area. We came down a little windy road. Oh, wow, look at that. It looks like a little place I could put my trailer. 
I could put my trailer there. Okay, let's see what's coming up and around this corner. Do we get a good view of everything? Wow. Okay, so now we're starting to get greener for sure. You can see the greenness starting to come out and there's red. Um, I don't know how far away we are now. Probably about 80 miles from, no, probably about 75 miles from Four Corners. Um, it is 79 degrees out at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, stay tuned for some more. Oh, that's somebody calling on my phone. What? That's my phone. That's crazy. All right, let's see. There's in the distance these little, they look like pencils, but now I can't show. Doesn't that look like a lot of little, well, though, I see one pencil right there. There was a few of them. Oh, shoot. Oh, remember, if you do hear any music in this video or any of my other videos, I have no rights, I own no copyrights, I don't know anything about it, and um, just so that you're aware of that, that needs to be said. Um, so, I'm going to wait until we pass these hills real fast, see if I can't get another view of those, um, those little pencil looking things. So, let's see, maybe, right, nope, oh, kind of, there's, oh, there's, the thing that looks like a fin that's over there. Let's see. What do I got over here? That's beautiful. That's the south side of 160. Let's see. Maybe I'll have a clearing right here to the north side of 160. Oh yeah, that fin is beautiful. Let's see, up close. That's very nice. All right. Alrighty. Almost to four corners. All right. So we just made it in. This is Cayenta. Car Cayen Cayenta. Cayenta. And um, I just really am digging all the rock formations, the way that they have come up, you know, thousands and thousands of years ago. And uh, that's kind of that really cool rock formation straight ahead. But I think there's going to be a building in my way. So this is Cayenta on the 160. Yeah, that building's almost in the way. Almost. Almost. All right. So this would be Cayenta. And... Uh, there's a McDonald's here. There's 7211. And uh, there's an inn, so you can have a place to stay. The Ace Hardware, I see. Cayenta. Nice little town in the middle. I mean, and it is in the middle of nowhere, but it's big enough it's got a McDonald's. It's probably got more, but this is the main thoroughfare. Oh, the churches. That looks familiar. <laughs> okay, so look at those. Let me see if I can get a good video of them. No, but I'm too jiggly. All right. All right, there they are. I was trying to get that all through that whole town. I've got a lot of neat looking structural mountainside tops things happening. Wow. Okay, this is the south side of the 160. So I kind I kind of want to keep you guys ready for, you know, what's happening. Um, but really it's beautiful and then I'm coming upon that rock that I've been trying to follow right up here and I'm gonna see if I can't turn around and get a 
get a video of us as we're going up that little hill right there just so I can see from the other side of what it looks like you know I could park my trailer there just saying look at this beautiful I mean I kind of feel like this could be in a movie about old western somethings so because look at all that just open land right there it's nice all right there's my rock formation that's interesting all right I'm getting closer to it that's impressive I don't know what I should name it I need to name it something I can see little designs now do you see the the lion with the line mane I see um, a dragon I see a donut I see what else do I see let's see I see all kinds of stuff I see it looks like a worm like an inch worm I hope I can find it later when I'm looking at this video all right so I'm getting ready to try to get it from the side all right here it is wow and look it's flat so it looked like it was going to go and be like a mountain from that side hold on there you go wow that's very impressive so there's like these little rock formations coming up and I want to make sure that I get a good video of them because they they look interesting and I what's what's cool is people live right out here so all of this land is people are living here that's awesome maybe somebody will invite me over to camp out in their yard how fun would that be but please only do it in the winter time no Please only do it when it's really nice out and not too terribly hot. And then this is the north side of the 160 and this is actually on the south side of the 160. And look at that. They almost look like something I would see in Greek mythology where they've made these like statues of Zeus or or I don't even know, but look at them. They look like fingers. Let me see if I can get in there as we're passing it. Come over here. Wow. Yeah, they look like they should have faces on them and be, you know. And then I cast oh, the... Oh, baby rocks. Oh, baby rocks. Cool. So... Then when I cast a spell, they all come and they're my army of people who all hit like and subscribe <laughs> and leave a comment on my on, on everything. Oh wow, somebody's living right there. That's a, oh wow, see that's cool. That's very cool. And look on top of that. Let me see if I can get it. Oh, I'm out. All right, still on the 160 of course. We are 50 miles, I think, right? I think it's it was 50 miles about we're away from the Four Corners Monument. And uh, we're gonna be checking that out. And uh, we'll see what's going on. I just wanted to show you some rock formations, get you up to date and up to speed of where we are so far. We just left Denny Hotso, which was the little town I didn't show you because I was in the middle of something, but that's what was happening. And uh, now we're going to continue on. All right, south side of the 160. I think they're used to maybe thousands and trillions and thousands of years ago, some kind of river going on right in here because of the way that the grooves are. And then you can see a flatness. And then it kind of, I don't know if you can see it go down past that. It's like a... It, it goes down past the green, so yeah, I think I missed the opportunity to show you, but that's pretty cool. Let me see if I can see it right. Maybe out. Here's like some grooves right here. Yeah, 
I think I got those. Yeah, I got those grooves in there. Yeah, I think I'm coming to, I think it looks like I should be able to see right down in there, but I haven't gotten to that. Right here. Can I see? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, now you can see my grooves that I was talking about. And it goes back that way. I think there might be a river and it goes down deep too. Not like the Grand Canyon. Don't get carried away. <laughs> and look, I could park my trailer down there. That would be cool. Wow. Well, so we came up over this ridge and look what we found. Let's see if that'll focus in. That is the land that time forgot. And look at my motorcycles in front. Anyways, that's what's uh, going on right now. But let's see what happens as we come over this other ridge right over here. Wow, that's beautiful. It would actually be more beautiful without having all of these wires things going through, but it's very cool getting closer. I think the last time I saw we were 32 miles, so it's probably 25 more miles till we get to the Four Corners. So we just uh, are almost into Red Mesa, which is, I'm assuming that that's what its uh, name is for, that Red Mesa over here, because this one on the south side doesn't really look that red. So that was the other side and you can see that the little town is right here red mesa or yeah and uh almost there woohoo i can't wait to get to the four corners Woo! i think we found the wild horses there to go running y'all look at them oh wow here's some more over oh they're running back in the back over there too Big old herds of them. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. All right, so what I found is every time we go up over like a ridge that you see coming, it's some kind of spectacular view or something that I don't have my phone ready. I don't have the camera aimed. I don't have nothing. So we're going to see if it happens this time where there's a spectacular view of some sort as we go over this another one coming up soon too so we can get that one because it always is pretty interesting and as soon as I put the phone down to rest my weary arms then you know something else spectacular comes oh but wait we have an incline coming up or a decline an in a decline we have a decline coming up because we are declining so uh, now you can see let's look at that that's pretty nice. All right, so we're almost to Four Corners because you know that's kind of the goal of this drive is to see what 160 has for us to show you something interesting that maybe you've never been on the 160. We don't know. But we like, or I like, I think we both like the 160. All right, so here we go. Here's a valley this ridge. I hope you got to see the horses. I haven't got to look at the video yet, um, but I hope the horses were on there and you got to see them running and standing and all them wild horses. That's pretty cool. So let's look over here. Remember this is south. We're going south. Or we're not going south. Sorry. We're going, we're going east and this is south. And then this is 
north on the one or after you look at the 160. All right, so we're getting ready to make a left to continue on the 160, and it makes a left in Tech Nas Pass, and that's three words: T E E C N O S P O S. So that's uh, we're gonna see what this town is because we got to make a left in it. And uh, here, look at those mountains over there. That's pretty nifty looking. Oh, and let's see if it's, there's my son right there. It is again, 82 outside. And let's see, this is, uh, this would be the town right here, right? Teak, Teak, Nos Pos. Teak, Nos Pos. And they have a trading company here. What is it? A trading store. Like you can go in and probably get blankets and, you know, gas and things such as those things. And then we're going to be making a left. Now, if we were to go straight on this road, it turns into like, I think, the 69 or the... Oh, here we go. The 64. No, it's not. The 64 goes straight ahead. And that takes us to Shiprock ship rock whatever something but we're not going there because uh we're going this way because we got to stay on that 160. we're going where you don't have to go but can still see and uh we're still on the 160 and straight for 20 minutes to us 160. okay 160 and we got cortez in 44 miles Woohoo! We made it to the four corners. We gotta be making a left. I'm not really sure. And oh, there's New Mexico. Land of enchantment. We're gonna be in New Mexico, I guess, for just a minute. Follow that trailer. Cause I bet that's where he's headed, to the four corners. Oh, I can't believe we made it. And not a moment too soon, cause we need to get out, stretch our legs, you know do those things that you do oh and it's open too that's nice so I guess they can close it it's a no drone zone so it's a good thing I don't have a drone so I don't have to worry about that but here's uh what's going on that could be Colorado over there I believe and then I don't know if Utah, yeah, Utah's probably that way because Arizona is that way. And then yeah, behind me would be, what's behind? So that's behind me, New Mexico. There you go. I'm very excited to show you. And it's the Navajo Nation Four Corners Monument Tribal Park. Um, it's $5 to get in. Oh, $5 a person. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that so we can see this monument and support uh, the Navajo Nation. All right, so we made it. Yeah, we're gonna look. There's like little places that you can come and buy things. Look at the flags. Colorado, the United States. Nice. At Four Corners. So it looks like maybe you could rent a spot here to do some sales and make a little money. I don't know how much they charge. I think it has to be now, like now. Oh, you think, oh, you might have to be part of the Navajo tribe. I don't know. And look, they even located the trash can and pointed it out. Look, you can walk over there to the Mesa area. Okay, let's go check it out. All right. In the line separating the territories of New Mexico, Arizona, was established as 32 degrees of longitude west of the Washington Meridian by Congress, so Congressional <laughs> Act of February 24, 1863, signed by President Abraham Lincoln. So this is kind of telling you a little bit about where we are. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. So what I wanted to tell you that I had to do two uh, episodes, so it was so long. Uh, you got to see us get all the way to the Four Corners, 
and then you get to see the rest from the four corners on to um, Durango. So stay tuned for number two. So this is part one and then part two is next. So boo -boo. what's happening with Lisa? Remember hit like.